was going to go to college, but I just was like, I want to take a gap year. I don't know what that's going to look like, if it's community college maybe. So I'm like looking through my phone on Instagram and then boom, why am I mad? And it's worship. Como que tuve una experiencia con Dios y me puso como que el sentir de venir aquí. El año pasado fue un equipo de acá de Mazatlán, de una DTS, a Colombia. Y como que preciso cuando ellos fueron, fue como la temporada en la que Dios me estaba hablando otra vez sobre las misiones. Me pareció muy padre ver cómo las personas que iban eran instrumentos usados por Dios y dije, yo quisiera hacer eso. I knew that I wanted to like something to do like a year or half a year for, like for God in my life. And my sisters already did a DTS and they were like so full of joy after their DTS and I saw that in them and I was like, oh, I also want that. Yo mismo como que me trazaba como que un, un miedo o una como que, ah, ¿cómo le va a hacer con, la, con las finanzas o dejar todo en la casa o dejar todo lo que tengo allá? But it works, it works out. God always provides, always. And like the, the thing that I really wanted was just intimate time with the Lord, just like go out of my way to see the Lord work in my life. Siento que es un buen tiempo para tomar una pausa como de el corre correo de la vida que estaba llevando como una pausa de decir bueno voy a dedicar esto a ti y que transformes áreas. I'm Noah Mohan. I'm from Germany and I'm doing here a DTS. Soy Israel Chávez Galindo. Vengo de México, exactamente de Ciudad Juárez y estoy aquí para hacer la ed. Mi nombre es Mabel. Eh, soy de Colombia y vine aquí a hacer mi escuela de discipulado y entrenamiento. Hi, I'm Riley Tucker. I'm from the U.S. and I'm here to do DTS. Well, good morning to you guys. It's an incredible honor to be able to be with you this week. So I such a joy to come to YWAM Maz and to teach uh, these classes and to be able to have the opportunity to be a part of somebody's discipleship. I was really amazed when I came into this school, specifically this one, and they just seemed to be ready. They seemed to be really open to it. They seemed to be prepared. They seemed to already know that this is where we're going to go. It wasn't caught by surprise. And they seemed very receptive, very receptive. But I also see that they have been quickly to not just be self-centered, that this is what I can get. Hey, maybe this is who I can become, that I would have the future, that I'd have the uh, the possibility to be a good father, a good mother, mother, and to have good relationships with, with their children. If, if this is the only thing that you got to see, the only thing you got to hear about the Father Heart of God, it would be my desire that you would be able to know that you can have a relationship with God as a father, that you can know Him personally as a son or a daughter, and that you can come to the place of Jesus to know that Jesus, what He had with God, you can have with God. He wanted us to be one with the Father. But here's the deal. It's not me to judge who's a Christian who isn't. But as a missionary, it is your responsibility to teach people what it is to be a Christian. Okay. Preach the real gospel. Yeah. This is gospel right here. This is it right here. The life of Jesus. He was led by the Spirit. I go to Cerro Del Ocho in Richem every Thursday. Oh my gosh, I love being around the kids and just getting to like watch them really have like kind of an understanding. It's like the beginning, like planting seeds in like young kids' minds about like who Jesus is and like what Jesus does for us and like what he did do for us and how he's like the light of the world. It's been really sweet. No, todo. Pues es que a mí me gusta trabajar con niños. Entonces, como tener la posibilidad de otra vez trabajar con niños, hace mucho no podía hacerlo y ahora sí.
I go to soccer ministry and they you know, like play. We go out and then we play with uh, kids soccer. Like we kind of train them sometimes, play soccer with them. Then somebody like is you know, sharing their testimony or a short story of the Bible, and then we go on with playing soccer. Um, I like to play soccer. <laughs> And um, also, like the the kids are happy, like if you see them how, how they play soccer. And I think it's also like um, with soccer ministry, we can, we can set a good example, like how, how even how we play. Um, um, and if they see in us like that we are like a, a fair opponent and that we are like not like um, being over overly aggressive or like um, acting out if something happens, just being a fair fair sports. Se nota cuando una persona realmente necesita Dios que a lo mejor ni se imaginaba que iba a topar a Dios y se, se topan con nosotros y Dios les habla y es como que empiezan a llorar o así como que Dios los toca y Dios los llena. Es como que muy padre. Pero lo que sí sé es que el Espíritu Santo trae una revelación especial que nadie puede darte más que solo Él. That no one can give you him. Mi nombre es Joseph y estoy enseñando esta semana en la DTS Carácter y Naturaleza de Dios. Uh, siempre cuando enseño esta, este tema digo que durante esta semana vamos a poder aprender que Dios es Dios. Y puede ser una, una frase tan simple, pero al mismo tiempo es muy profunda. Porque cuando estamos como yendo a través de la palabra de Dios, expuestos a la verdad, nos podemos dar cuenta de cómo hay áreas en nuestro corazón que no han sido rendidas al señorío de Jesús. Creo que cuando estudiamos el carácter y la naturaleza de Dios, necesariamente tenemos que ir a la Biblia para saber cómo Dios se describe a Él mismo. Y eso lo encontramos en su palabra. Entonces, siempre digo que sin Biblia no hay avivamiento. Espíritu Santo, Holy Spirit. Biblia y Espíritu Santo, so Bible plus the Holy Spirit, revela a nadie. Reveal someone. Su nombre es Jesucristo. And his name is Jesus. enseñanza de la semana carácter naturaleza de Dios y estamos celebrando bautizos aquí en la playa en los pinitos y ve hay jóvenes respondiendo a la revelación de Cristo ellos tienen hambre y sed por responder al evangelio Today I got baptized because I am making a declaration that the Lord is the Lord of my life and there is no other God <laughs> I'm excited for it. Sí, es como que emocionado de los lugares en los que podemos ir. Como que en verdad no sé dónde Dios me quiere llevar. If I could pick anywhere right now, I would pick Africa just because I feel like the Lord has called me there. So ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, welcome to your outreach reveal. Bienvenidos a tu revelación de cruzada. Africa. Creemos que 
que es el tiempo de México. We believe that it is Mexico's time. Y necesitamos de muchas manos. And we need many hands. No quería irme para un lugar por emoción o porque o sea, me, se había escuchado chido. Por eso es que estamos invirtiendo con dos equipos en México. That's why we're putting in two teams for Mexico. Porque creemos que la cosecha está lista. Because we know that the harvest is ready. Y Jesús dice, oren por los obreros. And Jesus says, pray for the laborers. En la semana yo estuve orando mucho, como de, Dios, yo sé que ya casi me van a decir, por favor, dime qué hago. Entonces, como cuando fue el tiempo, en ese momento, yo lo supe. I thought about it and I had a feeling before that I just wanted to go to to stay in the Latino community. I really honestly knew whenever I watched the video I was like I know where I'm supposed to be but I was like obviously I gotta check with God first. Pero también es, estamos yendo hacia España y Marruecos. But also we are going to reach Spain and Morocco. Porque creemos que Dios nos quiere usar en Medio Oriente. Because we believe that the Lord wants to use us in the Mediterranean. And he spoke to me like very very just like Yo, I know where you're going. And then he told me, like, Morocco and Spain. Pero ese lugar es como uh, España y Marruecos. Yo escogí España y Marruecos. Um, uh, I wrote down, like, first um, Mexico 2, the two Mexico 2, and then my second um, was Mexico 1. Yeah. Just had to be that crazy. <laughs> yeah, it just had to be. <laughs> Es clean, uh, clean dinner, la limpieza de la cena. No, pues yo pienso que es bueno porque, o sea, creo que sería raro que todos no lo hicieran. Como que tuviéramos personas que no se hicieran todos sabiendo que estamos aprendiendo a ser como Jesús. O sea, no tendría sentido. I love it. I think it's fun. I mean, obviously there's times where I'm like, man, I'm really sweating right now. I could totally be watching the sunset at the beach, but I also know that like that stuff is like where the character bu character building happens. Es difícil. Y más porque me tocó con pura gente, bueno, la mayoría habla inglés y yo no hablo inglés, es como ¿qué hago? A lo mejor se han enojado conmigo, pero pues no les entiendo, ¿sabes? Entonces, yo nada más hago lo que pues, lo que puedo hacer, ¿sabes? Yeah, I think work duties are, are good um, and you also have sometimes like to do with um, people you don't know so much or you don't interact a lot with and yeah, I, th I think they're good. You have to do them because otherwise the base won't run. Yo en mi casa yo no lavo ollas y aquí es lavar todos los trastes de todos los que están aquí, las ollas que están del tamaño de mí, o sea. Pues están lindas las clases, obvio, pues todo. Pero solo clases y a los tres meses ahí sí vas y haces misión. No, pues yo pienso que puedes hacer misión desde acá. And like, how could you not want to serve the community that is serving you constantly? And if you play the right music, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Esta semana estamos enseñando sobre escuchar la voz de Dios o reconocer la voz de Dios y intimidad con Dios. Entonces, como como un encuentro con Dios nos hace conocerle para desear más estar cerca de él y escuchar su voz. In order to hear God's voice, you first need to know God and you first need to have intimacy and encounter with Him. So that's a little bit of what we're sharing right now. Like, what does it mean to have an encounter with God? And from there, how you should be transformed. And from there, how you're you're not gonna be the same, but also how you're you're gonna get to recognize His voice more often. What if we all agree that this week? 
de libertad. It's gonna be a week of freedom. Una semana donde Dios nos va a hablar como Él nos quiera hablar. A week where God is going to speak to us how He wants to speak. So basically what we did was we were all blindfolded and we were like walked around the school and then they took us down to an area that had like basically a bunch of ropes that were supposed to be like, it was supposed to have a start and a finish. It was supposed to be like, all right, get to the end, like find your way to win to the end. And so they were like, but if you need help, raise your hand. And you were not allowed to communicate at all, like not physically and also not like verbally. So I, I grabbed the rope. I wanted to be quick. I uh, overtook some other students, and I was uh, then I had, in front of me there was like an obstacle. I overtook that obstacle as quick uh, as I could, um, and I thought it would be the end. And I, I thought, yeah, okay, I got this. I, I raised my arm. I was like, here, I think I'm done. And they, they. Um, unblindfolded me and then I saw everyone else and there were a lot of people were already done and I was like kind of angry like how could they be faster than me like how is this possible I was already so quick I've done this activity before like two years ago when I was like a junior in high school so I was like the first person to raise my hand and be like I need help uh, the first time I went through it and we probably went like 45 minutes doing the activity and I was the last person to ask for help and I didn't actually even ask for help. Um, I ended up like actually having like, a breakdown. Like I was so frustrated and upset about it just because I found myself like, I can't ask for help. There's no way I can ask for help. If I ask for help, it makes me look weak. The goal of the exercise was not to, to be the quickest, to be the fastest. It was like to ask for help. This is the same with lo que pasa en la vida actual, o sea que mucha de la gente tiene los ojos como que con una venda en los ojos y no quieren ver la realidad, que, que Dios es el que el único que nos puede ayudar. Te lleva a otro límite, te lleva a romper con todo, como que con tu orgullo, con tus inseguridades, te lleva a romper con un estereotipo que a lo mejor tú tienes trazado en tu mente y como que te orilla a, a confrontarte a ti mismo y decir que en realidad necesitamos de, de Dios en todo momento, en todo tiempo. Okay, I need help. I'm not gonna say it. Anyone have an idea of what dependency on God is? The limit for the payment of my travel expenses is very soon. I have $4,500. Out of how much? $4,500. Estas son tres palabras. Trigo, wheat, leche, milk, y miel. And honey. Pero también me exhortó. But it also exhorted me. Hey, compárteles esto. Share with them this. ¿Qué vacas flacas y feas hay en nuestras vidas? What are those seven ugly wheat cows in our own lives? Que están comiendo la bendición que Dios está trayendo. That is eating the blessing, blessing that God is bringing. Puede ser temor al hombre. Can be fear of man. Puede ser algo material. Can be something materialistic. Something I really loved, I was really surprised about in a way, was how the sense of family is so strong in the DTS. God started to speak to me again. Y fue muy claro. It was very clear. Y me dijo, yo te voy a usar para bendecir a Latinos. And it said, I'm going to use you to bless Latinos. Así que todo lo que yo acabo de juntar, que son como 1300, 1400 dólares, 1400 dólares, y luego que se los dé a Ruth. Así que voy a darte los Ruth. Todo el tiempo hice las cosas a mi manera y por eso tal vez siempre era muy difícil hacer las cosas. Y en este tiempo Dios me ha hablado de hacer muchas cosas, pero con Él. Pero hoy pregúntate la 
But I was asking the Lord, I knew it wasn't for me. Literalmente le rendí mi viaje de alcance a Dios, porque muchas veces por hacer misiones, pues hacía todo lo posible para como para hacerlo, y a veces cometí muchos errores. Entonces le dije a Dios, voy a rendirte este sueño, me trajiste hasta acá y sé que tú lo puedes hacer, pero antes que las finanzas quiero que trabajes en mí. Y si trabajar en mí implica no ir a la cruzada, estaré dispuesto a aceptarlo. ¿Y los 150 dólares? Y los 150 dólares. Son para completar lo que le falta a Jasmine. Y once, ¿qué es el complete para Jasmine? Jasmine ya está paga. Sí, ya está paga. Pero lo que es muy hermoso is that when you guys were called to pray, es que cuando fueron llamados a orar, you shift the atmosphere. ustedes cambiaron la atmósfera. You just started, like, just breaking through this, this, this Comenzaron a atravesar y a romper este pesadez. And I heard, and I heard the word breakthrough. Y escuché la palabra en parte aguas. And, and so I told, I told Lauren, I said, I'm really hearing this word breakthrough. Y yo le decía a Lauren, Lauren, yo oigo esa palabra parte aguas. But I don't think it's about the money. Pero no creo que sea por el dinero. I think it's something personal. Creo que es algo personal. Yeah. And what I just saw Lo que yo vi was personal breakthrough. fue un, un parte aguas personal. So we're not going to Spain for as long as we were going to go there. So now we're only going to be there for training, I think. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But, um, Yeah, so we're gonna go there for training and they like cut down our, our numbers so it's not as expensive. And then the people that had our money like raised already, we had like $900 extra. So we donated that to like the people who had enough money. And then it was five of us now. It's five of us now and then two more plus our leaders. Well, you guys. Salud. you guys. Yeah. Welcome to our first ever outreach meeting! Uh, we want to have like a time of Q&A, so a time of question and answer. Queremos tener un tiempo de PAR, pregunta respuesta. Like what are some questions that you may have for outreach? ¿Cuáles son las cuestiones? Las preguntas que ustedes tienen o quieren hacer respecto a cruzada. I love my team. They're all Latinos and Latinas, and so, well, yeah, and then there's one person from can Canada. De todas las edades, son personas como que uh, no socializo mucho. ¿Qué hábitos sugieres que empezamos a tener como para prepararnos? What habits would you suggest to have so that we can start to prepare ourselves for outreach? I think um, a big one is waking up early. Yo creo que uno muy bueno es como despiértate temprano. Having your quiet time before the devotional. That's important. Pues somos poquitos, casi todos somos latinos, y el grupo me cae bien. Mis líderes son cracks. Definición de cracks: muy buenos líderes. Some cities will have more accommodations. En algunas ciudades vamos a tener mayores comodidades than others. Maybe we'll be able to dry clean. Quizá va, oh. no vas a lavar tu ropa. Maybe we're going to wash it by hand. Mm -hmm. Quizá vas a poder, no vas, vas, vas a tener que lavar a mano tus calzoncitos. Um, to be honest, uh, I thought I would be with the other student together in one team, but um, that did not happen. Like we got separated. Um, he's like in Mexico one. But still, the locations we're traveling to, he's also on my team. La cruzada es a ver diferente en diferentes locaciones. The outreach is going to look different in each location. Pero tienes que saber algo. Lo que Dios está haciendo hoy en ti. But you need to know that what God is doing right now in you. 
no es para que se quede en ti y wow, yo sané, yo soy una nueva persona. It's not like wow, like it's gonna stay in me and like I'm healed and I'm a new person, that's it. Ahora sé que soy santo y tengo un diseño original. Or now like I have a new original design and I'm holy. Ese no es el propósito de la escuela. That is not the purpose of the school. El propósito de la escuela es ir y hacer discípulos. The purpose of the school is to go and make disciples of all the nations. Y eso es lo que vamos a hacer. And that's what we're gonna do. Vamos a trabajar con la iglesia. We're gonna work with the church. Vamos a trabajar con ministerios. We're gonna work with ministries. Vamos a ir a lugares que quizás jamás te imaginaste estar. Like we're gonna be in places that you never thought you'd be in before. Let's check. It is 5.57 a.m. to be exact, December 9th. And we're about to get 32 people on the road. It's very tired. It's no worry. No Christ. Very strong. Estoy muy expectante de lo que Dios va a hacer en Cruzada porque Nunca he tenido la oportunidad de trabajar en, en, en ese tipo de comunidades, en ese tipo de población. Bro. Ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, looking at lecture phase. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it was amazing. It was really, it was really good. Uh, I think God worked really a lot of stuff through me and it's broken a lot of identity into my life. Riley, you're absolutely shining. Riley. <laughs> I learned so many things about my character, about who I am, about my identity, about relationships, literally everything. Fear the Lord, all of the things. Holy Spirit, Father, Lord God, like all of them. But I'm also so ready to go take what all I've learned and apply it to like the real world. I just like, I don't know. I want to see people like meet the maker that I met, if that makes sense. y estamos, hemos hecho evangelismo, evangelismo hemos hecho ministerio de niños. Ah, yo he tenido la oportunidad de estar en el ministerio de niños. Estoy enamorada de ministerio de niños. Some speak Arabic, some speak Spanish, some speak, some speak French. And yeah, we're just teaching them about Jesus and who Jesus is. Por ejemplo, cuando alguien está dictando la clase, alguno de mis compañeros está dictando la clase, eh, yo tengo como conectado el celular al, al, al speaker y lo traducimos y ponemos como la traducción pero en audio. Es, es muy bonito ver cómo Dios está en medio de todo eso. Es que a mí se me hace difícil hacer evangelismo que porque la gente es muy fría. Aquí es como que son una cultura muy fría y que si no quieren te dicen así muy directo, como que no. Mm -hmm. De hecho, hoy salimos y luego 
eh, nomás con, íbamos con una señora y le decimos, bueno, tienes mis no. <risa> ah, bueno, <risa> gracias. People seem pretty, like, closed off. Not, like, about the gospel, but just, like, in general closed off here. Hay ciertas ventajas en el hecho de que sea un equipo pequeño, porque puedes sentar las relaciones un poco más profundas con las personas, ¿sabes? Como no tienes tanta gente con la que vas a hablar, pues en verdad sacas el tiempo de hablar con la gente que está alrededor tuyo. Pero a medida que vas más profundo, pues van a haber cosas en ti que no les van a gustar, pero tú también vas a ver cosas que no. Entonces tienes que aprender a lidiar con eso y muchas veces me cuesta mucho trabajar en eso. These are the ingredients we have tonight, right? We have some pork, we got a pork, but we got some potatoes, some carrots, so this is what I'm thinking. I think we're gonna do a little barbecue saute. We're doing onions. we're doing everything we can for what we got. Honestly, because here's all, the thing, we got two Americans. We have a small group, so we're able to like be very close and like open and honest, like during devotional and stuff, which is amazing, but then it like comes to like, oh, like who am I supposed to talk to when it comes to like something personal? Que sí, soy el único hombre y el único hombre estudiante. Entonces, como al principio es como que, oh, qué chido, o sea, es emocionante ser el único hombre, a ver cómo, a ver qué pasa. Pues te das cuenta que necesitas un hombre para hablar. ¿Sabes? Porque, o sea, no, es, es diferente hablar con un hombre. Mabel, ¿qué pediste? Un kebab. Creo que voy a pedir solo un. ¿Y Un rollo de parapel. Entonces, el menú también. No, este es normal. A veces hablamos o mucho en español o mucho en inglés y no siempre estamos traduciendo, entonces como que a veces eso dificulta mucho como la comunicación, la convivencia y se dice. It's pushed me hard, like in a hard way, but also like it's probably like the best thing, one of the best things I'll take out of outreach is having to like really push into my relationship with God because it's like it's either that or like you you can't do anything on your own like you have to use God like you literally have to te enseña que realmente estás aquí por por buscar más de Dios o por ir a hablar de Dios sino por las relaciones yo the plan is that our bus leaves in seven at seven o'clock. It's about a three hour bus ride right now. Two hour ferry ride, an hour taxi ride, and a nine hour train ride. All for the gospel. <laughs> Tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning.
kind of similar, honestly, in Spain and Morocco, just because I feel like most of the people that I talk to in Spain, like, they're very closed off, like, they have their beliefs, and then the people here also have their beliefs. They're not as closed off, they're more, like, warm people. La única la diferencia que es que de aquí a donde nos quedamos antes, yo creo que es como por los servicios, porque aquí literalmente somos, estamos solos, como que independientes. En España nos estábamos quedando en una iglesia, y acá, pues no hay iglesias. En, en nuestra primera parte podíamos tener un cronograma de, ah, esta hora vamos a hacer esto, esta hora vamos a hacer esto, esta hora vamos a hacer esto. Pero acá salimos confiando en que algo va a pasar, en que vamos a conocer a alguien que nos va a querer hablar y va a querer escuchar lo que tenemos por decir. Es como andar con mucho cuidado, como, no sé, te sientes como presionado a no, a no decir cosas que, que puedan como que exponernos. It's kind of hard to like see the fullness of what God's doing here, just because with a Muslim, like you can't just they don't automatically like become Christian. Like it's a long process with their because they have their religion. They don't want another religion, so it's like really showing them um, like the experience of Jesus and like who Jesus is. Para mí el primer reto es como el idioma, porque la mayoría aquí habla en árabe o francés. Entonces, si con el apenas estoy como ahí más o menos entrando al inglés, ahora ya aprender otro idioma, aunque son muy amables aquí y sea en el tiempo de como de entenderte o de que tú los entiendas a ellos. Just the people here, like I feel like Islam Muslims are portrayed to be so like mean. Like they're literally portrayed to be bad people, but they're not bad people. They're actually really, really nice. And I wish everybody could know that. En su en su en lo que creen, o sea, lo defienden mucho y defienden muy bien su cultura y su religión y a lo que ellos creen, ¿sabes? Ellos dicen, soy musulmán y yo creo en esto, creo en esto, creo en esto, y te empiezan a decir un rollo, te empiezan a decir mis cosas. Y en México hay gente que tiene vergüenza de decir que soy cristiano. In outreach now, we went to the to military school, which was really, really awesome. Talked to a lot of kids. How was breakfast? Yeah. Breakfast is good. We just had some. Um, no eggs. eggs. Okay, I'll wait for the hot carrots. Uh, some eggs anyway, so with ham. That's probably the smallest city we've been to, uh, to so far, and that's not even really small. Um, and it's more like we, we're doing evangelism, like in, in yeah, college campuses and churches. Sería bueno que dos del equipo de Hukun estuvieran un grupo y dos de la iglesia. So we're gonna have two people from Hukun, two people from YWAM, two people from the church. <laughs> So Noah and I were talking to a guy who, Así que no, no, con un chico. and he was like, I kind of believe in God, but I stopped going to church because Catholic church is boring. And I was like, bro, we think that too. <laughs> but. That's because you can have so much more. You can have a relationship that, with God that's real. And he was so intrigued. He might have been a little high, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, he was really intrigued. Well, we got his contact info, and yeah, I just like really felt like he was moved by, by the spirit. Like he was just seemed so genuinely interested. 
su contacto, su información, y creo que siempre ha estado siendo como muy tocado. Yeah. So it was just like really good to talk to someone that wanted to hear more about how he could live. Yeah. Like often what you see in Mexico is really popular, like you, you pray for people, you are, just ask them if they want prayer, you, then you can easily pray for them. You, you can have like a five minute conversation and even sometimes like ten minutes and they will give their life to Jesus. So that's really awesome, especially because like I feel like in Europe stuff like that does not exist. It's really non-existent and I mean God can work there too, but yeah, it's just harder. Mm. How to eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> you fold it into two halves <laughs> and eat it like a burrito. We're here to honor a group of people. Estamos aquí para honrar un grupo de personas. Lift up. Levantarles. And to commission as well. Y comisionarles. So this is a really big deal for for all of us. Esta es la gran cosa para nosotros. And so I actually want everybody to stand on their feet as we welcome in the students that are to graduate. De hecho quiero que todos nos pongamos de pie para darle la bienvenida a los estudiantes que se gradúan. Te sientes como con la emoción de que vas a ver a las personas y platicarles lo que pasó. It's cool, you know, like you're so excited, you see the people again, like how can you not be loud? Even as a German I say that. Like. <laughs> It's so fun. Uh, I missed so many people actually. It makes sense why the Lord made us to be in community. I can guarantee you, we can spend hours, if not days, if not weeks, passing the mic to each and every single student. And with so much fire, they will tell you how God has moved in their life. Not only how God has moved in their life, but how they were a witness to see God move in other people's lives. In the beginning, even during lecture phase, I was like, why don't these people like want what I like what I have and I can tell them how to get it? Like, it's not my job. Like, I'm not their savior. Talk to that rally right now. What would you tell her? Oh my gosh. I would tell her to rest. I'd say, calm down. You don't need to rush God. You don't need to try harder. You don't need to strive. Just rest. Creo que le recordaría que Jesús es digno de cualquier sacrificio porque el proceso siempre va a doler y, y sé que a la Mabel del inicio le daba mucho miedo sufrir y pues sí, el crecimiento duele no es porque Dios diga, ay quiero que sufras no, es porque es como los huesos cuando estás chiquito y te están creciendo los huesos te, te duelen las piernas el crecimiento a veces va a doler y recordarle que la ama mucho que a pesar de cualquier proceso que ella tenga que vivir, él siempre va a estar ahí. Que me concentrara más en lo que estaba haciendo, ¿sabes? Que me concentrara, porque al principio de la ED yo decía, ok, vengo, hago mi ED, busco a Dios, me regreso a mi casa y ya, ¿sabes? Pero nada más hasta ahí, no miraba más para más más de lo superficial. A partir de que yo regalé mi celular, 
a partir de eso fue como que mi relación con ellos fue creciendo poco a poco más. I would say just go for it. Um, probably say don't resist so much. Have faith in that stuff. And you will be changed and have faith in that you will be changed. And it's like, yeah, don't, don't question everything. Oh. A cada persona que en algún momento de la vida diga, oh, quiero ir a hacer una ED, quiero ir a Japón, quiero ir a Mazatlán, es una buena decisión. Ibam, it's nice to do Ibam. It will help you. It will boost your spiritual growth. It will help other people, and there's a blessing. In blessing other people, you will receive a blessing back. Do a DTS, guys. It's life changing, and God is so cool.